How's it going everyone? Um, doing a quick video, and it's not that quick, actually about 15 minutes on um, making a, uh, a, a really nice talisman that you can use for the whole uh, season of invasions. Uh, mainly for the seasonal towers and stuff if you want to do those things. Um, because technically you can't really get all the components you need. Um, I guess it depends on the season um, for uh, your talisman uh, without beating the entire invasions season. Uh, so this is the seasonal tower that was so famous from season two for XP farming. Um, that's gone away now because the floors in this tower don't advance the XP as much. Um, so basically we're forced to go back to doing an endurance match which is in the Tarkartan village and uh, that's pretty much what everybody's been doing this season. Uh, it works pretty good, it still takes too long for my taste. Um, but here we go, so basically you want to complete all of invasions, mainly because the shop in the rampart, which is typically the last um, mesa right here, is going to be the one that has the good components for your talisman. So, uh, as you can see here, these are the, the shops here. You can change whichever shop you want to. You don't really have to walk around at all. Um, so, uh, I go into the, here, this one. This one only has talismans. Uh, it's the other one that I want. Uh, so, here we go here. Um, so, yeah. So, here's the frost fart. That's the legendary. Here's the icy fart. Um, that's the one that I leveled up. As you can see, it has as many charges. And as you can see in the bonuses there, it has uh, all the damage. The max charges are up. It has extra projectiles. We're, we're going to do, I'm going to do a Warhorn. Um, I'm just going to do this. I have plenty of crowns to do this with. So I'm just going to show you how I go about and do that. So... This is uh, the one that was popular last season was the Warhorn um, because you, you know, if you've ever used it, it's got, you know, little mini Tarkartans run out and then there's spears that fly. Um, so uh, here we go. We're going to go in the shop here. And this is the shop you want. So these three um, components right here. Dragon Medallion, Jinsei Essence, and the Plasma Orb are super important. Uh, these are the ones that you can make, you can jack up your, your talisman. Uh, there's a fourth one called the Adinian Charm, which I can't seem to find in any of the other shops. Um, I've been able to win it in matches, um, but that's about it. Um, if you find it, you know, let me know in the comments. So, um... Basically, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy these here. Um, I already have a few of these, um, and the shop resets every hour, so you can come back and buy more in an hour. Um, it it used to be if you backed out of invasions and back in, it would reset, but they must have figured that out, and now it's back to. Um, it's from when you start the game. It it doesn't reset until you until you. Uh, use up your full hour. So I'm gonna buy these. Um, so the Jinsei Essence here adds charges to your talisman. The Dragon Medallion gives you damage. Um, so I'm buying these and we're gonna go head over to a forge. Um, I, I don't know why, don't ask me why, I like to go to the Gateway Portal Forge. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because I like to leave my character on the you know, the shops in all the other mesas. So here we go. We're gonna upgrade this here, and uh, you have to forgive my pauses. I recorded a voiceover um, while I was doing this, but it didn't register. So I have to do this over the video, and uh, I can't really remember where I was at. So here's the Adinian charm. Uh, that's the one that uh, recharges. So every time you win um, a match, it'll recharge your talisman. 
that's nah, key right there. That's like probably the most key one. I have a uh, looks like five charges there, and there's the dragon's blood right there. The dragon's blood is what helps you guarantee a forge. Um, the the more you forge it, the less of a chance. Um, but the very first forge, you can actually get quite a bit um, added onto it the very first time you do it. After that, it starts leveling up um, as a epic, and then it becomes legendary eventually. The more you forge it, so it will um, be harder and harder to forge. So just adding this Adenian charm, see how it says guaranteed, and then um, so it's guaranteed. So no matter what I do here, that's always that'll work every time. And then I can add more. Of these I can I can add the dragon medallion and then I'm gonna add the, the plasma orb um, and it's still guaranteed it seems that the very first um, and then right here up oh, it changed to high so that means it changed the level of the talisman to epic and we can see the purple over there under the picture of the talisman take it away it goes back to rare and you can change it all the way. That's the one that gives you the charges, so the Jinsei Essence. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure it's guaranteed because I've actually had this fail, even though it says high. Um, but right there, you can add the dragon's blood. And you can see the, the bar on the far right going up and down as I put it on and take it away. The more of that you have, the more you, it'll lower the bar to make it guaranteed. Um, the seasonal tower that I pointed out at the very beginning of the video, that actually, you win Dragon's Blood every time. So um, I've gotten to the point where I had 20 plus from you know the last season, um, and then I was able to make sure my Warhorn from last season was guaranteed to forge every time. So, um, so yeah, uh, that, and you can win it throughout randomly, just regular matches. Um, so we're going to go ahead and forge this here. Um, again, forgive my stuttering over this video because I, uh, again, I'm voicing it over. I don't, I lost all the audio from my original recording. So this voiceover might be a little, I might be like pausing and kind of not knowing what to say here and there. So I apologize for that. Um, so... I'm not sure when I'm gonna forge this here. It seems like it's taken a minute. Maybe I was talking a lot on my original audio and now it's failing. So as you can see, I'm a kind of a new YouTuber. I'm not really awesome at this at all. Um, this is all just doing it for fun. Okay, here we go. Forging the talisman. There we go, all those components, boom. You get five charges, but it only had the one. Only one, I can use, only use one. So um, I'm not gonna pay to charge this talisman up. I'm gonna go ahead and win a match. I'm gonna show you that here. Uh, we're gonna go over to the seasonal tower. I gotta equip it first. So, yeah, there's the icy fart. That's always full because I anytime you win with it, it just fills it right back up. So we're gonna equip it, and then here's a relic. Uh, this is from the the XP farm. I don't know if you guys have done this yet, but uh, the relic here, um, basically you're invincible. So you get a flawless victory every every match with it. So uh, I just kind of left it on after I got it. Um, it basically ensures you're gonna win pretty much every match. So we're gonna do a couple. Uh, we're gonna do a match here. I don't know if you saw that real quick, but this is level 21. I started to do it thinking it was going to be an XP farm, just like Season 2, and it turns out that the XP doesn't really level up for whatever reason. Um, here we go. Here's a match here. I'm not going to get too fancy. Uh, I'm terrible at this game. Seriously, I'm not awesome. I can, I can play with my buddies, and we played for fun, and this is a really fun game. But I'm not going to be in the combat league or any of that stuff. So there you go. I just used the talisman there. And it was really quick. And that's all I did. So, but I, you can tell, you can see the relic working. I'm, I'm at low health and always at low health. So we're just...
just gonna win this match. Um, obviously, I'm getting my butt kicked here. The more you level up this tower, the harder it gets. And then we just win here. I'm not gonna do any finisher. Ready, watch. As soon as I finish, as he falls over there. And the talisman's full, right in the corner there. So that's a win there. And then, uh, oh, look at that. I, uh, I got a component, I got the Indian Charm. So see that, you can just win it as you're going. Um, I, and I had five when I forged it, so that means that I won it quite often. And there's the XP breakdown. As you can see, this tower doesn't really give you too much of uh, XP per match like it used to. And we're going into the second match here. I just want to show you the second match because the second match is going to show you I'm going to use the talisman the whole time. I'm going to use the whole thing. All five charges. And then it'll recharge when I win. So here we go. It's one, two, three. Oh, didn't have to. Looks like the, the round modifier finished him for me. But as you can see, it refilled right there, right when I won again. So I can use it every match. Um, that's why this was pretty awesome for the Season 2 XP farm. It's not as big of a, um, um, in, in, not as big, not as important this season, um, you because you, the XP farm doesn't really work on this tower. So obviously, the developers of Mortal Kombat saw that we were doing that and nerfed it all. So we're gonna go back to the map here, um, and then uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the, uh, the, that's the deal with the forge. Um, this shop here you can come to. Uh, oh, there's some dragon's blood right there. Uh, you can buy it, but it's 2,500 crowns, or you could just win it. Um, to me, that seems like a waste of money. Um, or <laughs> waste of money, waste of crowns. Um, but this, this shop rotates, so those three components at the top will be different. And you can add really any component to it um well you can't really add in any component um but you can add other things other than the ones that i mentioned there and uh i'm going to show you right here um if you can see the icy fart that it says down the bottom plus one duration i um i added like an hourglass component to it uh, so it basically makes the you know the icy fart hang in the air there longer than um it normally does and as you can see as you as you highlight each um, component you know some of them you can't even add like this one you can't add the vampire tooth you can't add to it at all um, and that maybe I don't know maybe it just won't work with the talisman or whatever um, I'm sure other ones you can use it on you know um, the aura lens you know makes your pro uh, projectiles bigger uh, that might be helpful uh the dragon ember uh that makes your talisman unblockable which i did on the icy fart and it immediately made it like epic so it was like the chance of success to forge it like r went right to medium when i used it um so that will up the level of your talisman so just um uh, just be aware of that, uh, so um, make sure you're not forging it before, you know, making sure you're trying to keep it as guaranteed as possible, um, because once it gets, to, see, look at that, right there, it goes right, right up to high, and uh, of course I used the dragon's blood that I had, so I can't even show you that would bring it down, even though it wouldn't bring it down that much, so, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Pretty much it for forging the talisman here. Um, I don't know what the whole rest of the world does, but that's what I do. Uh, it works out pretty well. Uh, and and uh, so, yeah, if you made it this deep into the video, it's a long video. If you made it this deep, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, super long, probably longest video I've ever done. So, yeah, if you could like and subscribe or comment or whatever, that'd be great. Um... Thanks for watching. Again, I'm not a pro YouTuber. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm a 40-plus-year-old dude here. Just like to have fun playing Mortal Kombat after my kids go to bed. 
So, uh, yeah. So if you liked the video, do me a favor, sub. Helps me out. Thanks, guys.